Hello, welcome to Prezim Technologies. In this series of tutorials, I'll be going to cover all the concepts of C programming from a very basic level to advanced level. I assure that by the end of this course, you can able to write a C program on your own. In this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction to C programming language. Like human brains, computers do have a brain called processor. These processors are built with the help of millions of transistors, which in turn operates with the help of electric signals. So when I say electric signals, we have two states called on and off. To interact with computer, computer scientists were developed a new language called binary language. Binary language also has two states called 0 and 1, where 0 means off and 1 means on. If the value is 1, the voltage will be passed through the circuits. The processor's responsibility is to execute the binary instructions written by programmer. So the instructions written by programmer is known as a programming language. As we know, there was a huge evolution in the programming languages over the past few decades. After binary language, many programming languages such as assembly level language, Algol, BPCL, B, C, C++, Java, Python and so on were introduced. At each stage of development, the complexity of programming languages were reduced. In the journey of programming evolution, C had influenced other languages very much because the modern programming languages such as C++, Java, c -sharp, or C-like languages. That is, if you learn C, you can easily able to code in those languages. C language was developed by Dennis Ritchie in the year 1972. We can say that C is a flexible and easy to learn programming language. But we should not compare this definition with modern programming languages like Python. When compared to Python, C is not a very easy to learn programming language. So we should need to compare this definition with the ancestors of C language like assembly level language. Let's look at this small example. This is the assembly language to perform addition of two numbers. In the same way, this is the C program to perform addition of two numbers. So when compared to assembly level language, C language is a bit easier to learn. The main feature of C language is, it is a structured oriented programming language. It means that, instead of writing all the functionalities in a single block, we can divide the functionalities into multiple blocks called functions. This will help us to easily maintain the code and to find the bugs in the program easily. Execution of C program is a bit faster when compared to modern programming languages. That is, when we write a C program and when we compile it, after compilation process, final executable file will be generated. Whereas in modern programming languages such as Java and c -sharp, intermediate code will be generated. In case of Java, again we need to install another program called JVM. The responsibility of this JVM is to translate the intermediate code to the final code. This in turn will reduce the execution speed of the program. C applications are platform dependent. When I say about platform, it is an operating system and the underlying hardware in which C is going to execute. The executable files generated in Linux machine cannot be directly executed in Windows machine. We should need to recompile them again with Windows C compiler. But the program which is written in Linux machine can be directly recompiled without doing any changes. So we can say that C program is a machine independent, but C executables are not machine independent. Due to its flexibility and faster in execution, C programming is now mainly being used in many industries such as automotive engineering, communication engineering, networking, platform engineering, and aerospace engineering. The most popular operating systems like Windows, Mac, and Linux were completely written in C programming language. So finally, why should we need to learn C? If you are a beginner and if you want to become a good programmer, you can start with C programming because with C programming, you can understand the concepts of programming in a precise manner. And if you want to become an embedded software engineer, then you must need to learn C programming because C is widely being used in embedded software development. And finally, competitive programming. After learning programming, we can practice programs in websites called Coach of Hacker Rank where you can compete with other programmers in the world. So for competitive programming, C++ is the widely used programming language because C++ is easy to write and fast in execution. 
Time complexity and space complexity are the two important factors in competitive programming. In our next series of tutorials, we can also solve few problems in this competitive programming platforms. That's all for this session. In our next session, we'll see about brief history and evolution of C programming language. Thank you for listening. See you later next session.